leading Australians, including writer Tim Winton and late comedian Barry Humphreys, are among those appointed to the Australian Order. This was the first year when women were outnumbered men on the King's Birthday Honour List, which included entertainment artists, artists, Indigenous seniors, scientists, environmentalists, and other important Australians. The appointments were announced on Sunday night, the day before the official holiday for King Charles' first birthday as a ruler. Permanent legacy of Barry Humphreys The late Barry Humphreys, best known for his Dame Edna character, was accompanied by the Australian Order, the highest honour given to only six Australians. Order of Order of Australia Assignments 1 Companion of Order of Australia 2 Order of Australia 3 Order of Australia Member 4 Australian Order Medal Ms Johnson said that Humphreys would be proud to receive the highest honour in the Australian Order. He would be delighted to receive this appreciation for a great lifetime work in many different areas, he said. Humphreys' sister Barbara Johnson said her brother has been an entertainer since childhood. It never was a boring moment, really, he said. When I was little, he always said, I want to be famous. Ms Johnson said that Humphreys has more to give and will continue its performance until the last moment. In fact, until he, probably forever, which he did. Taking Aboriginal languages all over the world Darwin-based Shelley Morris, one of Australia's most well-known native singer-songwriters, has been appointed as Order of Australia for his contributions to music and Aboriginal communities. After being raised by an adopted family in Sydney, she moved to the area as a young woman, where she learned to sing in 20 Aboriginal languages. Finding my culture and languages has changed my personality significantly, he said. After moving to the Northern Territory, Shelley Morris learned to sing in 20 Aboriginal languages. Given honour ties with head of colony, inclusion of King in honour list was something Morris had to take into account. But being remarkable in what I do is the most important thing, he said. Singing around the world here the journey of it and working in over 70 remote communities. So it's not really about the colony, it's about this job I've been doing for over 20 years. Tim Winton's environmental and literary career Western Australian writer Tim Winton has been appointed as AO for his literary and environmental work. The author's Australian landscape depictions books such as Cloud Street and Breath were the highlights of many Australians' youth later years. Thinking about doing your job for 40 years getting some kind of reward beyond professionalism makes you think, so, I've been here for a while and maybe I've had some impact hopefully a positive effect. Tim Winton's books usually take place in the bushes and suburbs of Western Australia. Winton also made a name in field of environmental advocacy, WIC.